sessions. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Taurus and your sun moon rising or Venus. Dominant in your inner chart, or if you happen to be cross-watching for a Taurian. Keep in mind that there may, that may be certain things that you might hear in this reading that may not resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Please don't make any rash decisions based on what you hear from the time. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can, of course, book a reading on my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Get into it. First Nation. Taurus. Oh, Taurus, it feels like maybe you need to get away. It seems like you're overloaded with a lot of different things this week, Taurus. Your mind is just racing. You might feel like you need a trip. You might feel like you need to see new things and talk to new people. It seems like maybe things can become a bit monotonous, a bit predictable. And maybe you might feel like it's time to change things up. Overall energy for this week, Taurus Nation, is transform anger. So it seems like maybe there is some anger that maybe you're dealing with. Maybe this has something to do with other people. Crossing energy is stop breaking agreements. So maybe you're annoyed with someone that maybe you might feel is flicking on you this week, Taurus. Somebody might be feeling this way towards you. There's some things that, yep, you show up in your own energy, Taurus. You're first card out when it comes to your reading. I think you might be frustrated, too, about certain things. Maybe you're experiencing delays. Seems like you're waiting for divine timing with something. It is just seems like time might be out of your hands. You might feel like there's certain things or scenarios that you feel that you cannot control. And maybe that's something that's frustrating you. You might be missing certain bonds with people. Uh, you might even be getting in touch with an expert that you might feel can help you with this anger issue. Okay. Some of you might have a legal issue. Yeah, it's going to be an emotional week for you, Taurus or Cross Watcher. This is either, like I said, some, I didn't say this, but this could be people triggering you in some sort of way, possibly. Or there could be some emotional triggers since we're talking about... Mm -hmm. hmm. We're talking about your shadow. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark understand the law of polarity i think this is coming up this week taurus because you might be having some gloomy days this week and your guys are trying to get you to appreciate sometimes you got the negative side sometimes having some negativity or negative things happen in your life helps you to appreciate the lighter side of things the happier side of life life this could even have something to do with maybe your personality we talked about anger, and maybe that's something about yourself that, again, we, this word, keyword transform, as if maybe that is something that you want to change about yourself. Maybe that has something to do with the shadow aspect of yourself, and maybe there's something about that that you wish you could transform. It feels like it's your reaction to things, and but it, it definitely feels like there are some things that are getting that are playing out this week, or that have played out in the recent past that have triggered this reaction. And it feels like the issue is respect. And I think, Taurus, there's someone that you wish would put some respect on your name. Because it does feel like maybe um, you are maybe feeling blocked in some sort of way. Blocked from someone that maybe you do want to speak to. Maybe you block blocked someone. Maybe this is your way of asserting a boundary. Um, is to kind of block your energy from someone. Block access to someone. So it does look like someone is wanting to talk to you. Seems like you got a lot of pressure. Oh, this is a social pressure. I think so. This has everything to do with people talking. People running their mouth towards. This might be with friends. Maybe having some friend trouble this week. Some of you, this is um, siblings. Or this could be amongst family where there could be some 
question. Okay. Opposing opinion. Oh, we got arguing beneath that. Maybe this arguing is not happening directly with you, but it could be happening um, around you. Let's look more into that. Who's arguing? Oh, we got transform anger, so maybe there is. Maybe you're trying to avoid um, conflict with someone. Towards the cross culture. What's going on with the Taurus Nation spirit? A lot of things that are going on. A lot of things that I feel like you've been enduring. You might be enduring like um, yeah. and be gossip, words, pettiness. Childishness, sort of thing. What's going on? This is gossip about. Some of you, this is going on at work. Yeah. The Doris, there's people, some people know some things that maybe you don't know. Okay. It seems like either somebody could be eavesdropping on your conversations. What is this opposing opinion about, though? Bear with me, Taurus. I'm trying to see what's going on. Instinct. Okay. So maybe this is something that you don't know about. For some of you, this gossip, it, again, this has something to do with friends. It has something to do with family, intuition. You have some sort of hunch about some things that are being circulated. Information is being circulated behind your back. For some of you, this is a partner, somebody that you're married to. But I definitely feel like somebody is questioning, like they're, they're not sure if they're being valued, if they feel valued in a particular situation. It seems like there's an issue here with mutual understanding, with respect. Like I said, it feels like maybe you're backing up from other people or you're putting up a certain boundary. And people this week, Taurus, a cross watcher, might see you as an introvert. Or they might see a change in you. You might see the switch up. Or you might see the switch up in someone. Let's see what's going on if this has something to do with a love situation. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Or you're on the Aries cusp, I feel. Yes, definitely there's conflict and there's t tension. This is a love relationship, Taurus. It seems like there are people meddling in your relationship. And it seems like someone is allowing that to happen. And it seems like there is some conflict and some confusion that could get in the way um, of a relationship by allowing other people or someone in particular to be too vocal. Or it just seems like somebody might know what's best for you. They might think that they know what's best for you, Taurus. And um, that could be what this talk is about, what this meddling is about. Someone telling you how they think that you should be living your life or what you ought to be doing, how you ought to interact, how you ought to act with someone or with people. It feels like it's this sort of thing. So maybe you kind of feel alone. Taurus, a cross watcher, maybe you feel like you're not really supported by the people around you. Right? It just seems like you want freedom to do and be what you choose. And this could have something to do with a parent, a parental figure. It feels like there could be a parent that could be putting pressure on a child. Or this is how a child is viewing it. Yeah, it seems, yes, exactly. There's a parent that's putting pressure on a child possibly to succeed. Your instinct might be telling you something about a child this week, Taurus or Cross Watcher. That maybe they are going through something. Mm -hmm. And maybe it is written in their body language. 
Hey, my babe, baby. Oh, it seems kind of low. Okay, how about now? Mm -hmm. the universe. Okay, that's what this looks like. Yeah, this looks like this is a child that might suffer with a confidence issue. It's either they have a personal confidence issue. They don't feel like they belong. They feel like there's a black sheep. Something is going on this week with a child. This is parent-child situation. And maybe there's a child that kind of does want you to back off. They feel like maybe you're being a bit overbearing with them. And they just want some freedom. Like I said, to be who they are without these pressures. What's on your mind this week, Taurus? A cross watcher, it feels like it's your money. I was mentioning to you that that might be something that might be weighing heavy on your mind. I mentioned before, I don't know if I made it clear, but it seems like there's something to do here with um, delays with your money. Or we talked about respect, right? Boundaries. It feels like this has something to do with your stuff. Maybe you feel like someone is rummaging through your things, your belongings, this sort of thing. And it seems like clenching, like you're like, no, like... Maybe you're wanting, like I said, to, to have more autonomy over your things. It just seems like that might be something that might be getting under your skin this week, Taurus or Cross Watcher. And that might be something that's making you feel feel, feel rather angry. Like I said, if it's not happening with you, it may be happening with someone around you. It could be siblings, children, this sort of thing. And if it's not adults fighting, then these are children arguing. There might be some horseplay in the background, or they might be having little tips and disagreements about things. Um, like I mentioned, pettiness, petty arguing, or this is happening amongst adults. Seems like maybe you your motivation has been a bit off. Maybe you haven't been feeling well towards. Maybe you haven't been feeling like yourself. Maybe your energy levels have been a bit low. It seems like you might start to feel a little bit better. But yeah, this feels like this is pressure surrounding your work life. Okay, like I mentioned to you, it feels like you're um, really working um, or really motivated. If you don't have that motivation, you haven't, you've lacked that motivation. It seems like something might come up to give you that motivation. Yeah, see, this is definitely a child that might feel like you're lecturing them or a parent is lecturing them about something. Okay, love relationships. Splitting apart. What's going on with Taurus? What's going on with relationships? Oh, stop breaking agreements. This might have something to do with a lease. Somebody could be moving out, maybe. We got this card that says nearing completion. Some of your kids, maybe they're they're completing school. Maybe they're about to graduate. Nearing completion. Stop breaking agreements. I don't know if you want to break your lease, possibly. Or maybe um, you're about to complete your lease. This feels like something has to do with your living arrangements. Um, and it seems like whatever's going on with your living arrangements, especially with this splitting apart, I think maybe your lease is ending or this is because of what's happening in a relationship. Something about your living arrangements may change. Potentially, Taurus. What's going on with um, the Taurus nation when it comes to relationships? Okay. It seems like this week someone is making a decision. Someone may have been really um, kind of holding on or kind of holding out maybe for things to improve in this situation. And I think this week someone is worried. I think your relationship, the, the cause of the conflict, if this is a love relationship for some of you, the stress on the relationship has something to do with a love triangle. It seems like somebody is caught in the middle of that. Some of you are caught in the middle. Like I said, you got somebody meddling in your relationship. It could be a family member. It could be whomever. That's putting stress on a relationship. 
others of you, it feels like it's an affair that someone has had and someone is kind of struggling to kind of choose where they want to be. You might be dealing with someone who is um, popular, someone who um, garners a lot of attention. Um, Taurus, someone could be maybe an actor, a performer, whatever. Or we're flat out talking about a celebrity. It comes down to a decision this week. Yeah, it seems like you're kind of growing distant with someone, Taurus. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out what's going on and it opened up a whole other, there's totally be a whole bunch of other situations that might be going on besides this relationship, okay? But I see that, I see, Someone's thinking about this. There, there's some unresolved issues between you and a partner right now. Maybe you don't know how you can possibly work things out. And maybe this is the legal situation that I'm seeing. It feels like it, it could have something to do with divorce. It, it seems like maybe some of you might be thinking about going your separate ways. Because it feels like for you, it's a commitment issue. One of you, it feels like you're putting in a lot of effort into a relationship. And, and when it comes to feeling like you get that in return, you're kind of starting to wonder if someone, you're starting to get the vibe that maybe they couldn't care less. Some of you, you already spent some time apart from someone, possibly in Aries. And it looks like someone, pride is keeping you apart. It's due to pride that maybe someone hasn't. Um, come back to maybe smooth things over with you, talk things over, because it seems like for some of you Torians, there is someone that's thinking about you. You might cross their mind for one reason or another. I mentioned gossip. Somebody could be bringing you up. Your name could be brought up in some sort of conversation, or they come across some things that remind you of them of you. I just think that someone's going to continue to be prideful for a while for us cross watcher, especially again, this, this feels like this is the highlighted sign is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Like someone lives a distance away from you. And I think someone is missing you Taurus or cross watcher. And, um, I think that. This is the case if you've already broken apart from this person. Okay? Whoever this is, it could be a family member, it could be a child. I think someone is missing you. Maybe they're not very vocal about saying that, but I think someone could be calling you and maybe it's been a whole while since you've heard from someone. Maybe there is something that could be sorted out. It feels like it's up to you to kind of figure out if something is salvageable. This seems like in the midst of a conversation that could be approaching the situation, there's a lot of unresolved issues. There's some things that may need to be spoken about. Or like I said, somebody heard something that someone said behind someone's back. Some information got back to someone and they heard about it. And so this conversation might not be an easy one. It seems like it could be tense. Stop breaking agreements. This feels like someone, maybe not literally in agreement, but this feels like this is like an unsaid rule of relationships, which is be loyal, be kind, be be open. You know what I mean? Be, um, it feels like it's a loyalty factor and it seems like someone broke your trust. So I think someone is looking at the situation. They're accepting it. They're accepting it for what it is. And um, they're still hurt over the situation. Somebody is looking at the situation as though someone has lied. Or told bits and pieces of the truth. And not the whole truth. I said some information gets back to someone. Or someone comes across something. And this is where they get tangible proof of something so this whole arguing or conflict situation 
opposing situation may have something to do with a conversation that could be upcoming. You might have to confront something, okay? Because like I said, somebody's been keeping secrets or somebody's saying things behind your back. I said, little petty stuff. And that might put a relationship at a crossroads. Or for some of you where someone is thinking about coming back, they're at a crossroads. So it may take some time for this person to kind of sort it out. Because like I said, they're acting out of pride. That's the main thing for them. The other person, the other party in the situation, it's anger. And it's not just anger. It's the fact that someone is really hurt deeply and emotionally by something. They might be hurt way more than you may realize. Um, Taurus or cross watcher. Somebody might put on a brave face. They might put on a poker face. And you would never know how, how um, someone is genuinely feeling. Unless they were to open up and really say what, what's really going on in their mind. That's interesting. You got the lantern here, which is usually Virgo. But the Hierophant, that's Taurus. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo or some of you have Virgo placements. Who's coming through? Taurus. Random. This is going to sound so random. You might need an x-ray. You might have some sort of injury. It just feels like it's to your hand. Your fingers. You or someone around you. How is somebody feeling? Yep, definitely. Gossip. Somebody's running their mouth. It's a fire sign. The fi fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius are the highlighted signs here as well as Earth, which would be you, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. Seems like you're active online. Maybe you're spending a lot of time online, Taurus. Um, <laughs> some of you, maybe you're online because you're, you're job hunting. It seems like you have a goal in mind. Sagittarius is, um, I mentioned fire, so maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. But it definitely feels like you're you're hunting for something. For some of you, there's somebody online that's looking for information on you. <laughs> Random, I'm going to go back to this. Some of you, you might need to follow up with your child's teacher. It seems like they might not be doing their homework. The, again, this is a child that feels like they're struggling in school. Maybe they're not good at test taking. Maybe it has something to do with that, Taurus. Oh, no. Okay, we get to the source of the issue. Some of you, your kids are being bullied in school. <laughs> and this might be going on at home. Okay, it just seems like there could be something such as this. Especially this is a young male. Seems like they're going through something. Or this could be an adult. We talked about your shadow, right? So maybe somebody, we talked about that before, reaction and triggers. If this is not a child going through something, then this is your inner child being triggered by something that someone is saying, and it seems like you're reacting to something. Now, this could be some constructive criticism. Maybe someone genuinely does feel well, but mean well, but this could be because of the way that you're seeing things. Through the lens of hurt, disappointment, insecurity, some of you, or somebody around you. You might be viewing a situation where someone is not really attacking you, but you're viewing it as an attack and you are reacting to something. But I think this is because you have a lot of pressure on you. Again, you have a lot of pressure from outsiders. And I think Taurus, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Or this could be a child that feels like there's a lot of pressure on them. Like I said, there's a lot of things that are going on in this reading. Yeah, but yeah, speaking of your shadow, it just feels like there's some things that you want to change. Particularly this anger situation. Let me look into that because with that being the overall energy. And that just kind of being your mood this week or someone's mood around you. Let's look into why. Well, we I guess we did talk about the why a little bit 
different scenarios. It, it has something to do with healing. So it seems like Taurus or Cross Watcher this week, it feels like you might be getting to the root of the issue. The root cause of what's causing you to feel this way. Or if it's not you that is feeling this way, then it feels like it's someone around you that might be kind of struggling with something. And this feels like this is someone that you care about. Sincere relationships. Someone is looking at someone as though they're insincere in, in and flaky. Like they don't pull through on their obligations. So long story short, Taurus, there could be someone that's, that's delivering some sort of promise to you this week and they might be falling short. Thank you. Exactly. Somebody is viewing something as an attack. Unless this is literal and you are in some sort of DV situation. And it looks like someone wants out of a situation with this splitting apart card. Someone wants out. Dangerous depth. I think that that is some sort of situation that some of you, you or a family member possibly might be going through. I didn't expect to open the cards, Taurus, and see such a intense reading. Uh huh. Somebody needs to hear this because Spirit Guide said, do Taurus. Good night. So. I don't know. Yeah. War. <sighs> Arguing. Opposing. Long story short, maybe you do have a disagreement with someone. And like I said, someone, because you may not realize what someone is going through, and it's not to make excuses for somebody putting their hands on someone, but you know one thing could lead to another. You have this card that says endurance. Wow. As though you've been enduring something for a while. Is that the legal situation? Okay. Taurus. Yeah. Something could possibly come to go go too far. It's the way that someone is speaking to you or the way that you are speaking to someone. Like I said, if you are not literally going through this, Taurus, it could be something that you're witnessing. You might or, or someone is telling you about this situation. Oh, OK. You got somebody coming to your house, too, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely someone is in jail. Some of you, this childhood issue, the thing about belonging, feeling like they belong, feeling like maybe they're directionless has something to do with, and this insecurity stems from a father wound or a parental wound. Some of you, maybe you grew up with your father in the system or a sibling in the system in jail. But this feels like this is a situation that could possibly get out of hand. Um, Taurus or cross watcher. Yep. You got something to do with law enforcement here. Oh. Have a hey, brave one spirit. Okay. Okay. Arguing, okay? Spirit guides are saying, I don't know. Maybe it's not your, your spirit guides. Maybe it's people that are around you. What's going on with Taurus? Why are the cops getting called? Forbidden. Okay. Oh, uh, somebody could random did somebody break in Taurus or cross watcher you might need to get I don't know neighbors okay neighbors are hearing something seeing something feeling like things are a bit too loud or feeling like they might be able to hear arguing and as such okay like I said maybe keep it down 
because the cops could get called. I said something might get out of hand. I said one thing leads to another. Somebody has an anger issue. Not just an anger issue. It seems like somebody has the potential to put their hands on someone. And it seems like this is in the heat of an emotionally charged situation. Either this did happen, Taurus. And you got to be dealing with a Leo, a Libra. Who else had this? Scorpio had this. Capricorn had this, Gemini had this. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. Like this has just been something that's been maybe going on for a while. Maybe. But you have some nosy neighbors. Okay. And maybe your neighbors just might be a source of contention for you this week. Just nosy. Maybe that's who you wish would stay away. Yeah, that's like the neighbors, it seems like they have nothing better to do than to watch whatever is going on with you. And that could be who the, the, the gossipers are about. But yeah, somebody looking at you as though you're loud, Taurus, a cross watcher. And you're like, me? Maybe you don't realize how loud maybe your household is. <sighs> or cross watcher. But like I said, it's something that you're witnessing. Maybe you are, maybe you're the neighbor and you feel like your neighbors are loud. Okay. Say somebody's coming home. Let's look at that. Somebody's coming home, coming to your house. Taurus or cross watcher. Oh yeah. Let's go back. Somebody is in jail. Maybe that that's, that's who's coming to your house. Somebody could be getting out of jail, by the way. Taurus or cross watcher. Maybe that's what this court situation is about. And maybe this is why someone is looking for evidence, looking for clues to something. I don't know. It seems like maybe the cops want to talk to someone. I don't see anything with the vehicle. I was like, is it the traffic stop? I guess it could be maybe. If this is a traffic stop, this has something to do with drunk driving. For some of you, okay. That might be something that just kind of like boils your blood this week. Or maybe you, you might need to go back to court for something. Yeah, exactly. I think maybe that is. Maybe something is up in the air when it comes to a legal situation. Keep the vigil. Justice will triumph. Okay, so if this is you wor worried about the outcome of a legal situation, it feels like something is, is going to work out for you. You have this card that says nearing completion. And I feel like for some of you, this is a, a lease, a living situation. Oh, wow. No, no, no. I guess we're going back. Corruption. It seems like you might be dealing with some corruption having to do with the legal, situ the, the legal system. Or some of you, you are concerned about a living situation. You're concerned about paperwork being filed. What's going on? Yeah, it seems like either you are in need. It seems like maybe you are short. You, you are short for some sort of bill. Maybe it has something to do with your living situation. That in particular. Stop breaking agreements. Someone moving out. Yeah, you got this card that says splitting apart. Okay, I'm not sure what this is about. Okay, I just saw something that just really annoyed me, but we're going to get to that in a second. What is this about breaking agreements, Spirit Guides? Yeah, this is family members. This does have something to do with a lease, a deed to a home. I think you do want to move. And maybe, Taurus, you might be homesick. Maybe you want to be closer to family. Uh, maybe there's a place that you lived previously that you feel is home to you. And maybe you want to go back to this place. Or you might have family coming to visit you, Taurus, a cross watcher. Some of you, it's time to move on to a different place. Oh, yeah. You might need to, to um, check out something with your mail delivery. 
Um, there could be a package delivered to your home or maybe it's delivered to the wrong address. You might be expecting a package. Maybe that's what's coming to your door. A new door is opening step over the threshold. So I think this is some of you, you're moving. And you had a lot of references to home, house, living, your, your, your physical dwelling. So either someone is coming to visit you or it's time to move on to something else. Maybe you're a bit hesitant. Maybe that you're making a decision on something, Taurus, about whether or not to leave where you currently are or if it's time to maybe go someplace else. I don't know. Maybe a city that you're in kind of reminds you of, um, of someone, a lost love. Maybe this is why you're kind of like moving on. Maybe you're ready to start fresh. So I see some of you taking that opportunity. You, random, you might be stopping by the library. You might have a banking issue to take care of. And maybe it, that, that's where you might experience some sort of delays with the bank or your money. Things being put on hold. And you might need to um, maybe go uh, get some gas for your car. You might be stopping by the gas station, the charging station or whatever to take care of your car, but there's definitely a financial matter that I think is pending for you. And it seems like you might be getting to that where it's going to be very important. That might be where you need some help. Either you are needing some help with a financial matter or someone around you is in need of that. And maybe this is something that you kind of find yourself chasing month after month, Taurus, or cross watcher, is this financial situation. Or this is you're depending on someone. Um, maybe that's the agreement. Maybe you have a living arrangement with someone and you feel like somebody is flaking on you. That's what I mean. Something about that may change. Someone may be making some sort of plans, coming up with some sort of strategy, or this could be you. Coming up with some sort of strategy to change change a situation around, especially when it comes to your schedule. Because it seems like your schedule is all over the place. And it seems like you're just really stressed out as a result of it. You're definitely having some, I said, headaches. Um, this schedule could possibly affecting your sleep. It just seems like you're not getting the sleep that you need. I don't know, Taurus. Somebody could probably possibly be trying to bribe you to do something you don't want to do. But yeah, it looks like you're just overloaded, overwhelmed with a lot of different obligations. Like I said, outside pressures. It seems like it might start to get to you. And if there is something that's going on, um, Taurus or Cross Watcher, either with you or someone around you, it seems like someone is not sure. You know, you're not saying it. So it seems like it's left up to interpretation. Like someone's trying to interpret what's going on with you. Somebody sees something that's a little bit out of the ordinary with you and they're trying to figure it out. Some of you are at a crossroads when it comes to your career. And I think that this is the week that you're making a decision about something. And that, that feels like that's for some of you where the pressure is coming from and the time crunch is coming from. It is your work, your career life. Maybe that's where you feel like you're kind of trapped or you're um, having friction with someone at work. And maybe you feel stuck with a, a work situation. And maybe it's like you feel like you don't really have options when it comes to that. You might feel like you're kind of obligated. You're Either you're staying at a job out of obligation. Or maybe it's just that um, you haven't found one. So I think some of you might um, be job hunting. I mentioned to you that earlier. Uh, you might be looking for a job while you're keeping the one that you have. And a lot of you this week, it, it may have something to do with some drama that might be going on at work. And for some of you, this is where the drama is. And this might be where it's difficult for you to keep your emotions in check. Right? We got transform anger. And we got somebody running their mouth. I mentioned to you before about bullying and I, I mentioned to you someone saying something that is a trigger to you this week. 
Or it could be you two or someone could be looking at you as the bully. Maybe there is, maybe you, this is a past tense situation. And maybe you are wanting to build bridges with certain people. But either way, I think you might be looking for the next opportunity. And I think you, you have some anxiety this week that maybe you're dealing with. Maybe this is social anxiety. Maybe this is just the week. Did I mention it? People are seeing you as an introvert this week, Taurus. Or maybe that's just who you are at your core. But it seems like you might have to find a way to calm yourself in certain situations where maybe you just really want to go off and react on someone. Or this is you. Maybe it's not literal with this attack card, but maybe you might feel so angry that you want to put hands on someone or declare a war. It seems like maybe you want to um, confront someone or you want to check somebody at work or uh, in general, Taurus. Someone sees you as a threat or you see them as a threat. And this is why somebody is being an outright, I don't want to call names, but just being outright difficult at work. Because someone sees someone as a threat. And so it seems like someone wants to stop someone. Okay, this feels like this is jealousy. Look at that. I promise you, somebody's in jail. And this feels like this is due to some sort of attack. I think this is physical. Or it could be verbal. I think, like I said, you might want to go off on somebody or confront them. Somebody might want you to, like, like, tempt you to choke a booger out of them, Taurus, a cross watcher. What is this with weapons? I don't know. Somebody might have a weapons charge. If this is you, I got to say it. I don't want to... Last thing I want to do is, is 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 bring anxiety to a situation, but I gotta call out what I see. Some of you are in a very violent situation, and you may need to get out of this. Or you might see this about someone's relationship around you. So work. We're talking about this. Someone is seeing you as a threat or vice versa. Some of you, you work online. That could be the source of the, the drama, the gossip, the heckling. Yeah, there's someone that you wish would stop. It seems like somebody, like I said, somebody's just really getting on your nerve stories. A cross watcher. And maybe they're saying something on a keyboard and you're like, stop. Can you just stop? It seems like someone doesn't. Either they can't read a room. No, I think they can. I think they know exactly what they're doing, Taurus. Because this seems very calculated. It seems like this is due to jealousy, competition. And for some of you, this is an Aries. I don't know what this is. I promise you. With the police. I think I already see the connection. But anyway, that's what I see. Somebody's just really frustrating you. And see, in the background of your situation, not all of you Torians, but for some of you, it seems like somebody's get back is to put a curse on somebody. You see how this person is lighting candles and they seem real satisfied. It seems like this is this has something to do with karma. Somebody wants to see somebody's payback in a particular situation. Yes. Somebody's on that get back this week, Taurus, a cross watcher. Definitely people are running their mouth in the background. Maybe this has something to do with drama that people see unfolding in the workplace. And this is the source of the gossip for some of you. I mentioned to you, some of you might be taking a trip or someone could possibly be inviting you to go someplace. Um, if you are job searching, job hunting, it seems like you might get it. Goodness, why do you have so many police in your situation? So you could be being investigated for something. Especially if this is a DV situation, something really gets out of hand or has gotten out of hand. It's like some sort of assault case. Anyway, what was I talking about? Work.
Somebody needs a wear, by the way. You might be applying for a job, Taurus. I think you might be getting the job. Um, I think someone sees you as well qualified for what the job entails. And I think that, um, yeah, go dressed well. Okay. It seems like you present very well at this, um, at this, um, interview. And it seems like you might be getting the job, but this seems like this is a job that comes with a lot of competition. And like I said, or, or you already have this job and somebody again, sees you as, as a threat to the work environment. That's what I mean. It feels like someone is trying to sabotage something that you're doing. Maybe you have some sort of skin issue towards cross watcher. Maybe you have eczema. Maybe you have psoriasis where there's some sort of rash going on. Maybe this is some sort of nervous reaction. Let me see if we can find some good things. Well, I did tell you that there could be a work situation, a work opportunity. Or for some of you, this whole signing on the dotted line situation could be about... Um, um a living situation about a home but the interesting thing is you have stop breaking agreements something about an agreement like i said there may be a breach connected to this or this is maybe you're splitting apart maybe it has something to do with a company maybe it's the company that you work for if it's not you particularly leaving let's see we talked about your work we talked about your money some of you could be pregnant there could be news of pregnancy. It seems like your money might be on the upswing. And that may have something to do with an idea that you have. An idea that maybe you're coming across, Taurus. A cross watcher. Okay, maybe this is a pay week for you. Or there's a financial goal that you have. It seems like you're working very hard for it. And you, you might feel for a minute that it's out of your grasp. Taurus or cross watcher. And it seems like you're able to achieve this goal oh i think you've been working at this for a while to be honest yes i saw this easy progress or this is somebody that maybe feels like things at work come just easy for you they feel like you're a natural and that might be why someone has jealousy towards you but if this is a financial situation i think where you've been maybe experiencing delays things blocking you or whatever and this would be for some of you a clue as to why something is delayed. It seems like someone is trying to stop something all the way. Like this might be some sort of a spiritual war. And it's the, the, the source behind this is jealousy for some of you. But it seems like you're still, yes, oppression. Someone is trying to stop you from getting something that is rightfully yours. Patience, Taurus. That might be the biggest virtue. That's who I think of when I hear the word patience. That's the zodiac sign that I think of. Taurus. Something Taurus, it feels like it's connected to divine timing. So maybe there, it's a timing issue for some things where there have been delays and that could be the source of your anger. Some of you, you already know about this spell work. If it applies to you, and you can hear me clearly when I say if it applies to you, it does not apply to everyone. But yeah, that would be the source of why things seem a bit scarce in your life or why you feel like things are out of your grasp. Once again, conflict, and it may have something to do with this is why someone, this is the energy that someone is sending to you through this curse is to create conflict, arguing, this sort of thing. That would be the source of why for some of you that this is coming through. Yeah, especially if things have been have come to a standstill or especially if this is you arguing with someone and things have come to a standstill. No one's moving. No one's making any movements to make things right or to set things straight. And it's not that you have to in, in all situations. It seems like there's a reason why there's a source of it. But it's just up to you. It seems like you, something could possibly be sorted out or someone could possibly be extending the olive branch. Yep, the pressure is there. Taurus, it seems like the pressure is on, but it definitely feels like you're able to withstand this. Just ask is the advice this week. 
There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help or guidance. Okay. Because it definitely feels like you're in need of some sort of help, guidance, in some sort of situation where you feel like you don't, you're at a crossroads. We talked about that. You're not sure what decision to make. Maybe you are looking for like a bird's eye view of your situation. Maybe you are looking for it. Maybe this is what brings you to tarot is to help you figure out what to do or what strategy to come up with. And it seems like your spirit guides are saying it's easy. Just ask. Your spirit guides and those from the spirit world are definitely around and willing to help you with anything that you're dealing with on this earth, especially if this has something to do with a decision that you're making. It seems like your guides are encouraging you to rely on yourself to make this decision because it seems like maybe you're looking outside of yourself. Yeah, the spirit world is definitely going out of its way this week, Taurus. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Oh, is that why the death card is here? Maybe some of you do work in healthcare. You could be maybe hospice nurses, maybe, or you work in healthcare in some sort of way. You take care of others, this sort of thing. At the end of their lives, just as you received care and love, at the start of your life caregivers often focus on their all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process <sighs> maybe this is you maybe the pressure is on because your 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 focus is on others and you're neglecting yourself in some sort of way so it seems like you're being forced towards a cross watcher to focus on you and make you a priority and folk and, and um, factor time in for you, especially to look closer. Like we talked about the root of the issue, something may require a closer look. Maybe you've been avoiding it. Maybe that's what's had you shackled for the longest time is whatever this is connected to this, this deep rooted anchor. And it seems like you might be getting, like I said, to the root of the issue. Advice, Holy Spirit, for the Taurus nation for the next seven days. Opinions are the largest, are the lowest form of knowledge. I was mentioning to you, you see this card that says excessive pressure. And I was saying to you that you've got outsiders that might be kind of pushing up on you or telling you how you should live your life or what you ought to do. Your guys are saying, you know, other people may have their opinions, but it's really up to you to decide what you feel is best for your life. So it seems like maybe you might be giving that less of your attention, okay? Because it seems like it's outside pressures that really could, for some of you, be the source of this oppression. Enjoy the tranquility of water to remove stress. Immerse yourself in a soothing bath, walk near a body of water, or gently splash water on your face. I think this is the week for a cleansing bath you, or a, a house cleanse. There's been a lot of negative energy because I, I mentioned to you, this may be a spiritual attack. If it's not verbal or otherwise, it may be spiritual. And there be maybe a lot of negativity that may have been thrown your way. And maybe this is the week to kind of wash that away. Definitely, you're having some stress. I mentioned to you taking a trip or a drive. It feels like there's a need for a change in pace. I mentioned to you in the beginning, monotony. You may need to kind of find a way to get rid of, to get out of your normal routine and spend some you time. Maybe it's going to the beach. Maybe it's taking a bath, this sort of thing. Self-care, it feels like goes a long way this week with something that maybe you're dealing with and maybe it'll give you some time to kind of sort out some things or to give you some time to reflect on certain things. It's going to be that type of week, Taurus. A cathartic week, a week of reflection, a week of letting go, 
because it seems like the anger has it's been a buildup of this anger this isn't just anger that is showing up this week it's been there for a while Taurus enjoy yourself with the weather enjoy the warm sunshine the wind of the trees the cleansing rain or the clarity of an afternoon snowstorm this will increase your aliveness again there's a need to go outdoors you've been trapped inside the house or in the four walls of your mind constantly again it feels like this is a change in pace that's needed this week especially when it comes to your thinking stop inventing scary stories about the future stay in the now and affirm your strengths it seems like that's you you're just maybe you're a worry wart definitely here's the confirmation Take a break from the busy world. Replenish yourself with stillness. Meditate, stretch, nap, garden. Do whatever quiet activities your, your soul yearns for. And again, it may be that you don't feel well this week or whatever. You just might need some time alone to kind of sort things out for yourself. With that, oh, random. You still with that, Taurus Nation, this is this conclusion. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you once again, Taurus Nation. For